Hello and welcome to part two of our CLSI Exchange Quick Reference Guide. If you have not done so already, please watch part one of CLSI Exchange's Quick Reference Guide. Once you have logged in, we will pick up where we left off. You have the ability to change your email preferences for each committee. To start, click on the committee you would like to change and then click on Settings next to the committee name. The Settings tab will then open and you will click the arrow under Email Notifications. You can then set your preference to get emails real-time or once daily. We will now go over voting in CLSI Exchange. When a document is posted for vote, committee participants will receive an email notification announcing the voting opportunity. A link will be provided and will navigate you to CLSI Exchange. If you are not already signed in, enter your username and password. From the voting homepage, you will be able to see the documents that are available for review, access a comment form, and vote directly on a document. To download the document for review as needed, save a copy of the comment form to your computer. Review the document and record your comments on the comment form. You will then submit comments via email to vote at clsi.org. In addition to submitting comments via email to vote at clsi.org, voting members will be able to submit their vote directly from the voting homepage. Simply click Vote Now, select the appropriate voting option. Please note, comments must be submitted with any reject vote, and then click Submit. Do you have additional questions about CLSI Exchange? Please contact us at customer service at clsi.org or at 1-610-688-0100. Thank you and have a great day.